Hey y'all, what's up? It's me, Goddess Chi. Um, I'm at home. I've been trying to work out on this damn pole that I've had in my apartment for the longest and take my hair down and get ready to go hang out with my homegirls. I don't need to be hanging out, but I am. That's just what I like to do. Anyway, as you can see, my pole is back here. This thing here. It's really hard. I got my little horsey up there from Wells Fargo. My baby got there for me. Since he's out of town, this guy, this is who I've been cuddling with at night. They in replace of now. But oh uh, yeah, as you can see, he's on handcuffs. He's handcuffed around his neck and just up there chilling. It's because Jamal was mad that he lays me at night. Say what you want, whatever. But yeah, this is the pole that I tried to work out on. When I first got it, I wasn't doing anything with, with it. I pretty much nigga rigged it to stay up. It was one of those, it's actually one of those um, props, poles where you don't do a lot of, um, oh, excuse me, you don't do a lot of uh, hardcore extreme moves on there. But me being me, my little athletic strong self, I wanted to do some moves and I wanted to stay I wanted to stay sturdy, so I took out some nails and glue and you know, did the do, put it up there. So, I'm supposed to be making a video to put on studiovena.com. That's a, a website where, you know, people who want to learn how to do pole dances by learning from the internet they pretty much teach you of course you have to subscribe and pay a certain amount a month to get certain uh, lessons but other than that you get to watch other people uh, do do their uh, pole work pole exercises and you can pretty much learn from them I got mine's on there it's Kiwi87 if you want to check it out I'm on there uh, some of the moves that I've learned I've learned from watching I mean, I learned from being on uh, Studio Vini. I only have one video up there. I got a couple of uh, pictures up there. It's nothing. I'm not an expert. No, I'm not a fucking stripper. No offense to the strippers out there, but I just can't do it. I'm not a stripper. That's not why I got the pole. I got the pole to enhance my um, upper body strength, which I don't have, so I'm trying to gain some. But, yeah, I got this pole up here. Hopefully, I can... Yeah. Hopefully I can, um, it's been like months since I didn't actually got up there and done some shit. Actually, I used to, um, uh, teach bachelorette parties. They would come to a Hollywood disco and have their little bachelorette party and they'll come by and I'll teach them some moves on the pole. They thought I was just fantastic, even though I know I wasn't because I was like on a beginner's level and I, and I still am. I know a couple of... Um, a couple of hard, ooh, a couple of tricks that it's going to take some, some hard work to get up there and do because I was a gymnast and so I kind of have a little upper body strength and I got a lot of leg strength so I can do a lot of shit with my legs. But hopefully I can get back into doing my pole workouts and my upper body strength will be on point and then I can have uh, pole parties with my friends and they can come on over and get on the pole and I can teach them a couple of things and they'll get a pole of their own and I don't know if you hear the music in the background but that's Peyton Charles she's a Memphis uh whew, lean everywhere that's my damn dirty ass hair but anyway the music that's playing is called Exclusive by um, Peyton Charles it's off her album um, Cold Hearts Red lips, cold hearts. She bumping. I can't wait till she come out with another mixtape or another album. But y'all should really check her out. Peyton Charles. King P, whatever she go by. Follow her on Twitter, uh, Facebook, Instagram. Look up her music. She's really good. She is from the Memphis area. So y'all should definitely check her out. The song that's playing is called Exclusive. And it's saying I can work the pole. So I thought that would be like the perfect song to play while I'm talking about working on a pole. I wonder if y'all can hear it. Can y'all hear it? I 
I really hope y'all can hear it while I'm sitting here dancing. I got a bad habit of doing that shit. But I done pulled my hair down. For those of you that know me, my hair was really dark brown, but I colored it and it's like, can't really tell what color it is. It's like uh, Auburn, maybe, but my, my real hair color is already starting to grow back. But anyway. So, I'm gonna try to do some more, some little workouts on this pole. It's five minutes, I didn't wanna put a, post a really long video. Just, you can see I done took my little two braids out. And I'm so tender headed. That's why I really don't like other people to get in my head. I do this shit myself. The back looks weird because it was like two little twisted ponytails going to the back. I mean, twisted braids. They're not really braids. They're like two twists going to the back. You can see the back of it. I know it probably look weird, but I have to fix the back so it'll be straight for when I go out tonight. And no, I'm not trying to be no um, natural hair style specialist. So, first of all, I've been natural for 25 years. Never had a perm. Um, when I was in high school and stuff like that, my mom used to press my hair out. When I uh, moved out of her house, I would flat out my hair, but that's about it. Go dry my hair, and, and for a long time, I've been natural. And this is the first time I ever put some type of processing chemicals in my hair is when I color my hair and I had to color it twice to get it this color but anyway damn this video is so long I know I get to running off and rambling and talking so much that I just get all off subject so all right uh y'all have any questions about anything whatever I'm pretty sure y'all won't because I've yet to have any people inbox me questions about shit but I don't think that's the type of uh, status I'm trying to uphold on YouTube. I'm just sharing videos. If you like, you like. If you don't, you don't. If you comment, you comment. But I like to interact with people more here on YouTube. So talk to me, people. I'm talking to y'all.